What's up everyone, my name is Ethan, welcome to Splash City. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and let's get into it. So first and foremost, I want to address the name change of the channel. This happened, uh, this went into effect yesterday, kind of been in the works for a little while. Uh, I decided it was time to rebrand and um, change, you know, update the name of the channel a little bit, uh, just so that I felt like it would be easier for people to find me, uh, make me stick out a little bit more, you know, people can find me if they search for me and stuff like that. Uh, it, you know, it still fits the theme of the channel and what we do over here. Um, leans a little bit more into me being a Warriors fan and all that and so I, I felt like it was a good you know a good time to do it uh, rather than waiting a little bit longer you know as the channel continues to grow um, I wanted to do this now um, hopefully you know all of you who are subscribed will stick around the nothing material about the channel is changing uh, you know this is still gonna be the same videos same types of content you know the same frequency of upload same people running the channel it's just me it always has been me will continue to be me um, so yeah that that's pretty much that we're called Splash City now. Um, Courtside TV has been retired and it is a thing of the past now. So, uh, welcome to Splash City. And uh, like I said, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I appreciate you all joining me on this on this journey as we continue to you know, grow and improve what we're doing over here. So uh, yeah, with all that out of the way, let's get into our video topic for today. So let's talk about Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers because holy crap, what a performance from Dame tonight. Um, he had 55 points on, I think it was, what, 17 for 24 shooting uh, in a double overtime game that wh where he hit, you know, buzzer-beating threes at the end of regulation and at the end of the first overtime to tie it both times. They were down three twice uh, with the clock winding down, and Damian Lillard saved the day twice uh, to save his team. And, they, uh, of course, they ended up losing the game. They didn't, need, you know, have nothing to show for it. They now go down 3-2 in this series. Um, but what a performance from Damian Lillard. So I kind of just wanted to talk about him. Um, the direction this series is trending, kind of the direction of the Trailblazers at this point, uh, and just kind of a, a retrospective on Dame's season in his career. So, you know, he breaks the playoff record for threes made in the game with 12. That He breaks Klay Thompson's record from, I believe that was 2016 when Klay set that. Um, so, so now he has, you know, the record for the most threes in a playoff game. Of course, that's two off the record from the regular season. Klay Thompson's, again, record of 14. Uh, so Dame was just absolutely nuclear in this game. I mean, the Blazers were down like 20 super early on. They started horribly, uh, and he they closed the first half on a crazy, crazy run. Him and CJ both hit a couple of shots, uh, bring them back into it, you know, bring it, cut it down within single digits going into halftime. Um, and then, you know, coming back in the second half and, and being down, double digits in the first overtime they were down like 12 and i was like oh this game's over and i kind of you know turn my attention away from it for a second and i go back and all of a sudden it's like a two-point game with 20 seconds left and i'm like what the heck where did this come from so like he has just been going off the the entire night right and he's hitting these crazy threes. They go into the second overtime. He hits like a bank shot from like 35 feet and it's just going off. Twitter's going crazy. It's just one of those NBA moments where, where you're never going to forget where you were when this is happening because, you know, th this is a very unique experience and this does not happen very often. This is one of the best playoff performances, you know, in recent memory and also in the history of the league. Now, it might end up getting forgotten because it came in a loss, uh, but it's I think it was like the third most points scored in a playoff loss in the history of the NBA. Um, so very, very, you know, big game from Damian Lillard and, and unfortunately the rest of the Blazers just couldn't pull it together. You know, I believe I saw a stat on Twitter. They were like one for 19 in, in both overtimes, uh, the rest of the Blazers that are not Damian Lillard, like one for 19 for, for two points. So absolutely horrible from the rest of the squad. Dame was just putting them on his back. Um, and, and they end up losing to, to a Nuggets team that, you know, almost gave this one away multiple times, um, specifically, you know, late in regulation. And, and this was a similar thing in overtime as well, when, um, you know, they, they just single covered Dame out on the perimeter. Like they let him ISO like, bro, we, how many times have we seen this movie, right? We, you know, he's going to step back. You know, he's going to do it. The team's down three with the clock grinding down. What, what's going to happen here? We've seen Damian Lillard do this to the Thunder. He's done this to the Rockets. He, he's done this to all these teams, these buzzer beaters to send teams home in the playoff series. And the Nuggets are like, nah, that's cool. We'll, we'll just, you know, send Michael Porter Jr. out there. He can single cover him. Uh, and, and, you know, we'll, we'll just let him do his step back thing. And of course he sinks the shot. I mean, what the heck guys? Like, like this is what we're going to do. We're not going to foul. We're not going to double. Um, we're not going to press five up on the perimeter. We're just going to like let Damian Lillard ISO and do his thing. The guy who has hit more playoff buzzer beaters than anybody else in the history of the game. I don't know if that's actually a real stat, but, but you know what I mean, right? He's very, very good at it. So, um, that was a mistake by Mike Malone. Of course he ends up winning anyway, but, uh, he almost gave this one away. 
So now we go back to Portland for a game six. Blazers are facing elimination and Damian Lillard is coming off, you know, a crazy performance where he gave everything. Uh, so they go to Portland and, you know, it's a must win game. Obviously, they got to win two in a row. Um, they got it at home. I, I felt from the beginning that this series was destined to go seven uh, and I still think it'll end up happening. I'm probably going to pick the Blazers in game six and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. But um, yeah, so this is probably going to be a seven game series in the first round. Uh, very, very entertaining. You know, neither of these teams are playing much defense in this series. We're having these epic duels between Lillard and Jokic. Uh, you know, Jokic had a great game tonight also. I believe he had like 40 or very close to 40 um, on, on good efficiency, I believe. So so Jokic played a, played a very good game as well. Um, and this has just been a great, great series between these two teams. Now, you know, the winner of this has to play either the Suns or the Lakers in the second round. It's looking right now like it's going to be the Suns. We kind of talked about that yesterday. And Phoenix did pull off that win tonight by, you know, by blowout, you know, 30 40 point victory there um so so we'll have to see right but whoever wins this has to play the Suns or the lakers and um i think phoenix would would handle business against either of these two teams uh but it would be fun to see dame play in the second round it would be fun to see Jokic play in the second round um obviously as we see tonight lillard is not somebody to be taken lightly i know that the blazers as a team are not amazing but he is just putting them on his back and you know the players like this you know there's only a handful of them in the league but they they're capable of being the best player in any given playoff series and when that happens you're playing with fire because uh you can just get hot and and all of a sudden you're sunk uh you know luckily for denver they played well enough to to stave off this performance tonight but um you know you're definitely playing with fire if you let lillard get ahead of steam because there's not many players in the league like him who are capable of winning playoff games solely by themselves and I've seen a lot of people on Twitter tonight, you know, saying things like free Dame, get him some help, you know, get him to a different team. And I understand that sentiment for sure, uh, because, it, you know, it's pretty clear. Like I, I was saying the stats earlier, but he did not get much help, especially late in this one. In both of those overtimes, it was just basically the Dame show and ultimately uh, wasn't quite enough to get the victory here tonight. So um, it would be nice to see him play with another star. Clearly, the CJ Dame experiment has kind of run its course. Um, it, it's just been, you know five six seven years now of them being like a pretty good playoff team but never really being able to get over the hump there with that as your core so maybe that's a, a cj mccollum trade you know maybe it's it's packaging some guys like nurkic and and uh robert covington and you know whoever else uh and try to bring in another star there to pair with those two i have no idea uh, we'll have to see what they do in the offseason because, you know, they can't just keep losing in the first or second round year in, year out. Eventually, you're going to have to try to shake things up because it's pretty clear the ceiling on this team uh, is not a title winner. It's just not going to happen. So uh, we'll have to see what they decide to do. It'll be interesting. I'll kind of go more in depth on that in an offseason video for the Blazers, but uh, I don't think they should trade Damian Lillard. I don't think he needs to demand a trade. It's He's made it pretty clear that, that Portland is where he wants to be. Uh, he's a very loyal guy and I don't think we're ever going to see Dame Lillard demand a trade. Now, you know, there is a chance he ends up playing for a different team if if ownership of Portland decides it's better to do a rebuild, you know, as Dame starts to get older and they realize what the ceiling is for this roster. Not that that's Dame's fault, but it, but it is very difficult to build a championship team. So we'll have to see, you know, he might end up getting traded and if he does, it would be very interesting to see him somewhere else. Uh, but for now, it, it's, it's cool to see him continuing to rock out in Portland, putting up these awesome performances. He's had a great season. You know, it, it's pretty obvious where he ranks in the NBA as a top 10 player and the second best point guard in the league. Um, so he's he's very, very good. Um, and, and the Blazers are lucky to have him. So, so you know, it, they, they should uh, do everything they can to build a championship caliber roster around him. And that probably means trading CJ McCollum. And we've said this for like five years now. Um, so we'll see if they eventually pull the trigger. But uh, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, man, Damian Lillard is just insane. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough for them to get the win tonight. Uh, but I still think they have a shot in the series. It's, it's clearly not over. Um, I would expect them to take care of business in game six and push this one to seven. And uh, when you get in a one game shootout, you know, there, there's not many players I'd rather have on my team than Damian Lillard. So maybe they do end up getting the second round or whether it's a first round exit. I have no idea. We'll have to see how far they end up getting. But uh, yeah, that's about all I have to say on the Portland Trailblazers and Damian Lillard's masterpiece from tonight. Like I said, at the top of the video if you're new don't forget to subscribe uh leave a like ring that bell if you want to leave a comment letting me know what you guys think about the blazers and dame lillard would love to hear your thoughts down below and i appreciate you guys sticking with me through the rebranding of the channel and the name change and everything 
um, trust me, we're just getting started in and it's summer break for me now. So I've got a lot more time to, uh, to work on improvements to the channel. And this is just the first step in that. So, uh, this is Splash City. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.